What is up guys? We're back at it again with another Project 815 video for you. All right, today we're gonna concentrate on maintenance. I'm finally gonna change the oil on the mini Jeep. It's got about four and a half hours of total runtime on it, which is a little bit outside of the manufacturer's recommendation for the, um, the oil change. They want it done a little bit sooner, but um, haven't really had time to do it. But now we are going to do it. I'm going to show you guys the process and what we do, what oil I'm going to use, because I have done a ton of research and I cannot find anything on the internet as far as telling you what kind of oil you'd use um, and what to do. So we're going to uh, take a trip over to Walmart and we're going to take a look at some oils and our uh, options and then we're going to go from there. All right, we are on our way. So I shouldn't really say that I couldn't find anything online. I did find a few small things on Chinese ATVs with the 125cc motor. Um, it was semi-helpful, but nothing really touching on the Coolster Mini Jeeps or Thunderbird Mini Jeeps. So um, I'm going to kind of wing it and you guys are going to go along for the ride and we'll see what happens. I mean. We gotta get this done, so. All right, so we have arrived at Wally World. So let's go inside, check out some oil, see what our options are. All right guys, so unfortunately, Walmart would not let me film inside. I don't know what they have to hide. I've heard about this in a few other places and they, they just refuse to let you film inside. Oh, whatever. Let's head back to the house and I'll show you guys what we picked up. All right, back here at the house. I already went ahead and lifted up the Jeep with my motorcycle jack. Um, it'll help get the oil out a little bit quicker and all of it. I want all of it gone because it is the first oil change. So this is what we're gonna need for the project here. Um, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket and ratchet with a short extension. The oil that I'm using, full synthetic four stroke by SuperTech. 10W30. Um, a lot of guys use 15W40, um, but that's more or less for hotter climates and stuff like that. And then of course I have my mock oil pan to drain it out. All right, let's get down underneath the Jeep here and I'll show you guys exactly what to look for where the drain plug is. So you guys will not probably have this mount in the way. This was my uh, plow mount. Um, if you guys haven't already, check out the video where I installed the plow here. But we're not involved with that today. What we're looking for, let me get my hand here, this is the drain plug. So it's a 17 millimeter size. Um, they strip very easy, so be very careful when you guys take these off or put them back on. the oil coming out also what you guys want to look for here if you guys are new at oil changes or whatnot you're gonna to want to look for metal debris on the end of your drain plug here um, doesn't feel like there's any on mine so that's a good thing All right. here's your oil fill here The oil was clean on mine, so nothing to worry about. So about four and a half hours is about the limit you want to go with these, I think. Um, recommended break-in, they're saying thousands of miles in the owner's manual, which is absolutely ridiculous in my eyes, but um, just kind of keep an eye on stuff. What I have is uh, the speedometer also keeps track of uh, hours, too. So um, if you guys have one of these, pick up a... Uh, GPS speedometer keeps track of hours and miles, so helps with these oil change intervals. 
All right, so the last bit of oil is coming out here. So I'm gonna snug that up real quick. I'm gonna wipe off the spot around the drain plug, the oil drain hole here. And I'm gonna reinstall the drain plug. Just snug, that's it. So these do not have a lot of oil capacity. Um, the oil capacity, I think, is 0.8, which is barely a quart. So um, also do not overfill when you guys put these back in, or put the oil back in, rather. All right, so we got the oil out. Um, now comes the fun part. We're going to put the oil back in it. Um, I was looking around for a different bunch of different funnel options that I have laying around my shop here and um, one really works out exceptionally well it is a Harley Davidson funnel um, not a sponsor <laughs> um, this thing fits perfectly where the oil fill goes and let me show you guys what I'm talking about here so down here is where the oil fill is so it's kind of a pain location to, to get here so let me pull this dipstick out here and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. You can just fill right from the top. All right, so this is the important part here on this project, the amount of oil. So. It's saying that it wants 0.8 quarts. Um, and on here, obviously, milliliters. Um, we're gonna wanna go down just below the 200 mark, just below it, and then check the oil. So let's get rolling on it and see what we can do here. Um, I hope this funnel idea works, you guys. Um, it just looks like it fits really well, so. Um, you're gonna see with me if this is uh, gonna be a success or not, so I'm kind of nervous about pouring this oil down over here All right, so that worked out really well um, So what we're gonna do now is fire her up that oil again. Perfect. Right up to that little ball. You want the oil, that's right where she's sitting. Guys, I don't know if it's just me, but this thing sounds a lot quieter. It's running a lot more smooth. I'll give you guys updates as we go. I'll let you know um, how the oil is doing. Uh, I just took it for a quick ride. Everything's shifting really good Everything sounds great So I think this is the proper oil and everything that you're supposed to use so no complaints as of yet, but I'll give you guys that long to long term update as we go along But I think that's gonna wrap up today's video guys if you guys have any questions do not hesitate to ask me uh, shoot a comment down below I try to answer every single comment. So if you guys have any questions on the oil change process with these things, hit me up and I will do my best to answer any questions you guys have.
Also, this video is shot on January 1st, 2020. So, Happy New Year to everybody out there. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you at the next one.